welcome to another episode of Learning Photoshop. In this video we're going to be looking at making basic selections using the direct selection tools. Now these be they up here, I'll just click and hold down, we've got the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. Well okay let's start with the lasso tool. Now this is basically a free form tool. So basically what you're doing is you're like drawing like you would with a pencil. Now I've, I'm using a mouse today, so it's not going to be that accurate. If I was using a pen and a tablet, it would come out a lot better. But basically if you want to draw around this leaf and it's a, it's a non-regular shape, you can click and with this tool, the action is to click and drag. So I'm keeping my left mouse button down and then I'm drawing around the shape that I want to, to select. I'll just try and select this leaf back to the beginning. When you get back to where you started, you'll get a little zero and then you let go and it selects it for you. Let me show you that again. So we'll just go around this. So I'm going to click and drag around this edge back to where we started and then let go. And that gives me a selection. Okay, next one on the list is the polygonal lasso tool. And this works a little bit differently. This loves straight edges. So we'll, we'll have a look at another image with some straight edges in it. And the, the actual way we use this tool is quite different as well. So here, let's say I want to select this with this blue triangle. So I'm going to click once and then let go of the mouse button this time. So I'm not holding the mouse button, I'm just moving the mouse. And you can see now I've got like a piece of elastic. And I'm going to move that down the straight line to the other corner that I want to select. And I'm going to click on that corner and move it. And you'll see that I've got another piece of elastic. Now what happens if you go wrong? Okay, well let's go wrong a couple of times. So I'll click twice. So I've now got two points that are wrong. Now you can't go back to here and click yourself out of trouble. That just will not work. What we've got to do is to get rid of these two points that are not, not correct. And we do that with the backspace key. So if you see, I'm going to press the backspace key once and that erases one of the points. I'm going to press the backspace key again and that erases the other point and takes me back now. So I'm now correct. And I'm just going to continue. I'm going to go over to this corner, click on that corner, up to where I started. You'll see that little O appear that tells me I'm, I'm right over me, my origination point. And I'll click and I've made a selection. We'll just try that again with this one. So it's click and move, not click and drag, click and move, click and move click and move and then back to the start and that's got me selection. So that's the polygonal lasso tool. Now the third selection tool in this little gang is the magnetic lasso tool. So I'll just deselect that and we'll go back to the original image. Now the magnetic lasso tool, you can see the icon there, it's got like a little magnet on it. Uh, this works differently again and what this is working on is contrast so as long as you've got a nice contrasty edge to work to this tool will do a really good job for you. So what I'm going to do now I'll go to the point to start point somewhere there and I'll click and I'm going to take my finger off the left mouse button again so I'm not dragging I'm just moving but now there's a little piece of wire and I don't want to take it too far because it'll start putting points in. But now it, all I've got to do is move it down this edge. And what will happen is Photoshop will start putting points in. So I'm not clicking at the moment. I'm just I'm just moving the mouse and it's finding that contrast edge and it's putting points in as we go. And there we go. Now you may get to a point if there's a little bit of a low contrasty area where it might it might fail. And so what you can do is where you want to put a point, you just click. I've just clicked and that's put a point right in that corner. 
So I'm just following around this and Photoshop's making a pretty good job of finding those edges. And I'll just try and speed up a little bit, but you can see how efficient the tool is at actually locking on to all those high contrast edges. And it's a brilliant tool for doing your, your first pass. So you may not get it absolutely perfect with this, but you'll probably make a decent selection of a good, a good 90 to 95%. And then any areas you've got a little bit of problem with, you just go back and you sort them out with another tool. But you see how I'm getting quite a lick on now as we go around here. And now this area I can see because it's quite pink, all the tones are very similar. So you may get the problem where it, the tool actually won't know where to go. And this is where you come in. So you recognize this and you say, okay, well, I'm going to click there and I'm going to click to put a point in there and then I'm off up this side again and I may want to click here if the tones are very similar the tool will start wandering and it's up to you just to bring it back so now I'm clicking right around this edge and then I'm letting the tool do its job again at the other side we'll go up this side onto here and then we're back to where we started we get a little zero and I click and I've got what is a pretty reasonable selection. So you may need to refine it a little bit, but that tool, if you've got a nice contrasty image, is a fantastic way of making the selections. So that's the direct selection tools. Let's have a little quick bit of a recap. So we start off with the lasso tool. That's absolutely brilliant for doing freeform shapes, for drawing around things quickly. Your polygonal lasso tool, that's good if you've got lots of straight lines for, so for your architecture. And the magnetic lasso tool, absolutely awesome, where you've got a nice, well-defined contrasty edge for it to lock onto or magnetize onto. Well, I hope that was useful. If it was, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment below the video. If there are any specific topics that you'd like to know more about, please leave me a comment and I'll try to help with the video if I can. Now, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on Photoshop and Lightroom training. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.